So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do competitor analysis the correct way where you're not spreading yourself too thin and the reason why I say the correct way is I get asked frequently hey how do you do competitor analysis what's the best way of doing competitor analysis um, how do I find missing articles that my competitors have that I don't and what a lot of website owners or business owners they end up doing is when they're doing their SEO competitor analysis they look at a website at a domain level so if they are competitors with abc.co.uk let's say they're looking at that competitor from an overall what are they ranking for that I'm not now that is good however if you want to try and rank higher for a certain keyword this is the best strategy that I'm going to show you guys in this video um, I have also created a sheet that's completely free to use um, if you do want access to the sheet click on the link in the description um, once you do have access to this sheet, click on file and then make a copy for yourself and then you'll be able to actually edit the actual sheet and um, place in your competitors and stuff. But Did you know that 81% of businesses are overspending when it comes to actually trying to rank their website organically in Google? That's why I've decided to create the Traffic Accelerator system. It will tell you exactly what your website is lacking. The Traffic Accelerator system will tell you exactly how many backlinks you need what articles you're missing on your website and also how to internally link those articles together to gain topical authority. Now, if you're struggling to rank on Google, click the link down below, get the Traffic Accelerator system for your website. It's only $195 and it will tell you exactly everything your website is lacking. Um, the reason why I've made this sheet is because when we're looking at competitors, when we're plugging competitors in, uh, we are actually able to <clears throat> plug in a keyword that we want to actually find more articles for as well. So let's take a look. Um, if we were to do a certain website, let's say we go after um, lawyers in, we'll do Dallas, right? What we want to find is a competitor of ours. Let, let's just say, for example, that um, let's go with dallascounty.org is this actually a law firm or is this like the no it's not it's like the, the county website um, we will go after um, do you know what we'll go after one of the guys in the map pack it completely doesn't matter um, so these guys Bailey and Galen attorney at law right so they've got um, different practice um, areas, so like what they're actually um, doing the actual law for, so if it's personal injury, so on and so forth. Um, the reason why I always like going back to law websites is because their SEO is pretty decent, so if I show you guys um, reverse competitor analysis on a fairly well-ranking website, it should be fairly easy for you guys to replicate this within your industry as well, right? So what we want to do first is find <clears throat> their actual um, sitemap. Now, the best way that you can obviously do that is if you go to robots.txt. Um, typically speaking, <laughs> I say typically and they, they don't actually have one. Typically speaking, if you go to the robots.txt, they will actually have a link to their sitemap. Let's just go to quickly positions two and three as well see if these guys have it. I will show you guys an example. Robots.txt. <coughs> so sitemap, this is the actual sitemap index here. If we just copy that, you should see all of their actual posts. So what we want to try to find is their actual pages or their posts. Um, let's just click on this. So they've got um, injury, injury lawyer sitemap. So yeah, they've got all of their actual posts within here. We can copy that. Um, if you click on a website and they don't have a actual sitemap in the robots that text, what you can do is you can do sitemap.xml and sometimes this will load up the actual sitemap. If we're lucky, yes, we have got it here. And if we go to their posts, for example, right so we can just copy this first sitemap and then paste it into our article finder um, and basically if you go to column a2 
you've got two sections that you want to fill out. Section number one is obviously the actual sitemap that we're looking at. And then section number two is the keyword that we want to take a look at. So, for example, if we wanted to rank higher for personal injury um, lawyers, we could do, for example, injury as the actual keyword. Or if we wanted to rank higher for accident, um, accident lawyers, we can obviously put in accident. And then what this does, this script will only show you articles that they have on their website to do with accidents. So if we take a look here, right, where you've got what to do after a car accident, common causes of pedestrian accidents in the fall, accidents caused by truck driver fatigue, commonly tra uh, common tra traffic violations that lead to motor vehicle accidents. Now, if we were to just remove the actual keyword here where it's got accident, um, if we just remove that, this is going to show us the entire sitemap. Um, so, as you can see, you've got um, non-accident related articles. This is what a lot of people would do um, if they're just doing Q or if they're just looking at their competitors. Now, this isn't a, this isn't the best strategy um, if you're if you're not homing in on one particular keyword. I would always put in a keyword, but again, it's completely up to you guys. So, I'm going to put in injury, for example. <clears throat> and we're probably going to get some injury related articles. So, for example, how long do I have to file or how long do I have to file a personal injury claim? So on and so forth. Now, once you actually have got a list of articles here, right, let's say, for example, we decide to do, uh, we decide to do these three, that, we'll do this, we'll do these as well, right? And then you can then take the, or go to the next column, wait, or sorry, the next um, tab in the actual sheets. And we can actually just go into here and then paste in our articles. Basically what this does is that this will give us the H1 that the article should be. So if we wanted to recreate this article on our website to do with how do I know if I have a car accident injury claim, then you've actually got the actual article there. Or how long do I have to file a personal injury claim? So that's that's how the actual article finder works. Now you can obviously swap the actual keyword out for anything. You could this could be literally like, for example, family law. Um, if we wanted to rank higher for family lawyers in Dallas, we could definitely do more articles on family law. One thing to bear in mind about this sheet is that it's only looking at two hundred and one. Um, URLs. You might want to just plug in a few other URLs here. Um, so the, the this competitor has uh, one, two, three, four, five, five sitemaps. Um, so you've got five different um, sitemaps that you can take a look at. Like for example, if we were to take a look at sitemap two, um, obviously you can see that there's a lot more family law related articles in sitemap number two. So we can obviously grab some of these articles and then paste them into our article finder. And this will um, obviously give us all of the H1s that we need to actually have on our website. So that's how I am doing competitor analysis, finding articles relevant to a keyword I'm trying to rank for. The next step after this would obviously be try to, or it would be actually writing the articles um, and uploading them and also doing the internal linking from these articles to our primary keyword. So if we have a um, article on our website to do with um, personal injury lawyers in Dallas, we would obviously want to um, internal link all of these personal injury law related articles to that page. If we have a, um, a service ba based page talking about family lawyers in Dallas, we would obviously want to internally link or first of all, upload these articles, get them rewritten, and then internally link these back up to our family law in Dallas page. So that's how I'm doing competitor analysis. Like what I mentioned before, this sheet is completely free. Um, it's got a little custom prompt um, within here that will allow you to actually put in a certain keyword and it filter through 
all of the actual articles within your competitor's sitemap. So SEO has become a lot easier with this actual um, with this sheet. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like as always. And if you guys do want a free growth strategy call for your website, make sure to check out casualash.com, fill in the contact form, and I will get back to you. Thanks.